Today, we have an eight ingredient Mediterranean recipe. Find out what it is on this episode of My Plant-Based Kitchen. So as you all have already seen, today we are making falafels. Thank you, Richard, for the thumbnail. And I like falafels because it's, you know, just very tasty, you know, mm -hmm. simple. It's so good. And especially if you add some sauces on there and yeah, you know, put in a little sauce. pita or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna mm -hmm. And I love the tabbouleh on the side. Oh! oh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm sorry, I'm being a little extra, but still, it tastes so good. Yeah. Very simple, very easy. I didn't even know how simple it was to make. So today we're actually gonna make it um, and it's going to be a naturally gluten-free recipe, meaning that none of the ingredients contain wheat or wheat gluten, all right? So why don't we just get to it? So, for the ingredients to make our falafels, we're going to need one large bunch of parsley. And then we're gonna have two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, three large cloves of garlic, we have a half of a cup of pecan meal. How much of cumin is this, Jared? This is one and one fourth teaspoon of cumin. And then? Half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then? We have half a teaspoon of salt, but you can taste it once salt we make it, taste. and then salt to taste. Yep. And then this is 15 ounces of chickpeas, which is roughly two cups of chickpeas. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first thing we are going to do, we're going to cut up, chop up our parsley, friends. Okay. Get that cutting board. Chop, yep. chop, chop. All right, so as you can see, Jerby right there is chopping our parsley. Now, parsley is a very power-packed herb, and I just want to talk to you about it for a few minutes. Now, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 2, because the Bible is our health manual. Everything we eat, Jerby, right, all of the way we eat comes from the Bible and its principles. Revelation 22 and verse 2 tells us that the leaves of the tree of life have healing properties in them, therefore the healing of the nations. So if those trees and those leaves have healing properties, therefore the trees and the leaves on earth also have healing properties as well. So, Jerby, any health benefits of parsley off the top of your head? Like, how can, can the leaves help? Well, first of all, these are very fragrant. I can smell them, they smell great. Mm. Now, parsley is actually wonderful for halitosis, for people with bad breath. Mm. It's actually really good for people with anemia. It also helps to... Um, wait, 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 pause right there. You mentioned, you mentioned bad breath. That means yeah. if your breath is a little funk funk, get some parsley. So basically if you're anemic and you want to make some green juice, you can add in a whole bunch of nice dark leafy greens and then toss in some parsley. That's true. And speaking of, I can actually smell the parsley right now. But the parsley is actually good for different organs of the body, your kidney, your bladder, your stomach, your liver, and even the gallbladder. These are so much parsley really affects very well. It's actually good if you have infections, like kidney infections. However, disclaimer. Make sure that if you have acute kidney infections, you are very careful. In fact, don't really use parsley because it's a warming herb, warming herb. That means basically that it, it draws blood to that area. So it might affect you negatively if you have acute kidney problems. So be careful with that. Parsley is also good as a diuretic, right? It helps you to pee, but it also has an opposite effect. If you bed wet, get some parsley. So as we saw, Jerby is pretty much finished cutting up our parsley. And lastly, I wanna leave with you Psalm chapter one, because it tells us that a righteous man is like a tree, mm -hmm. right? Planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. and his leaves shall not wither. So that means that as we eat this parsley derby, 
And as we give it to other people, it's helping to heal them, not just physically, but also spiritually. And when Christ comes, they will not wither. Amen to that. Amen. All right, so we're going to add in our chopped parsley, lemon juice. This is literally like a salad. Okay, so your lemon juice, your parsley, and then we're going to add in our cumin and a nice pinch of salt. Now we're going to toss in our three cloves of garlic. Blend it a little more. All right, so we're going to toss in our chickpeas and we're going to pulse until it's nice and chunky. I think that's good right there. All right, so Jerby here in our kitchen, in our station. It's going to add it into our mixing bowl. So friends, as you can see, the mixture so far with the chickpeas, the parsley, and all the other seasonings came together really nicely. You can smell it, you can even taste the freshness, but most of all, it still has texture to it, which is what you want when you're making your falafel ball. So don't blend it so much that it becomes hummus. Now at this stage, we're gonna take our pecan meal, my favorite. Now we use pecan meal, but you can use another nut meal of your choice. What other nut meals can you use, Derby? Almond meal, you can use cashews. Or just oats. So friends, what you do now is you take your falafel, shape it into a ball, just like this and then you put it on your parchment paper. Our oven is heated to 375 degrees and we're gonna bake these in there for 40 minutes. The longer you bake, the firmer they'll be. And what you're going to need to make this sauce is one block of firm tofu, the juice of one medium-sized lemon, a fourth of a cup of dill, half of a cup of water, three cloves of garlic, salt to taste, and last but not least, a cucumber. We're gonna start off by grating our cucumber. We're gonna do half, and that's our grated cucumber right there. You see all that juice? Okay, and from here on out, everything's in the blender. Any day now? It's still breaking. Lemon drink. Half a cup of water. Three cloves of garlic. Dill. Our half of a cucumber. Salt for taste. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off with roughly three cups of quinoa. And just to let you know, one cup of uncooked quinoa provides you with roughly three cups of cooked quinoa. And then to this you're going to add half of a cup of chopped red onions. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of chopped parsley. And of course, if you want more parsley than this, you are more than welcome to add way more than that. And then we're going to add a cup of chopped cherry tomatoes. Mm. See all those tomatoes up in there. A fourth of a cup of Kalamata olives chopped. You know, Kalamata olives have like the most rich flavor of olive. And then you're gonna add one clove of garlic, minced. One tablespoon of olive oil. And the juice of half of a lime. And of course, once you've cooked your quinoa, you've already added your seasonings to it. But of course, if you'd like, you can add more salt to salt it to taste.
So friends, as you can see, our falafels are done. Jerby, what arrangement of food have you put together? Well, basically, I have uh, some flatbread and my falafels in there, if you can see. And then I put some olive tapenade hummus mm -hmm. to base it off. And then some greens, some olives. I love olives, as you can tell. Olives, some cucumbers, and some tomatoes. And mm. then the tzatziki sauce is on top in there, too. So scrumptious. This is one way you can dress it. Mm -hmm. How I dressed it, of course, on the side, I do have my Mediterranean inspired food. Thank you. And then I have a gluten free wrap with the hummus mm -hmm. layered on the bottom. Then I put the lettuce. Then I put the cucumbers, a little bit of tomatoes. tomatoes. Correct. Then I put the three the falafels and the tzatziki sauce. Friends, yep. this is wonderful. Let's dig in. Oh, and this, this salad. It's the bomb.com. Make sure you eat it. I'm going to start with my salad. Now mine is big, so please just give me a chance to take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. So much flavor. It's so good. I like to call this healthy swell food. Mm hmm Because it's healthy for you, all these natural ingredients, but it will fill you up. Let me finally eat my falafel. Mmm. It is amazing. Let's see what Jerby thinks of I'm gonna first. Bite, take a bite from the back. Because that's so what I'm eating like sloppy is. joes, guys. Wonderful. You will enjoy this. Big old bite. Bite it, Jerby. Oh my. Mmm. Let me get another one. I'm okay. sorry. I'm gonna wipe my face. That it's is so good. good. Well, friends, we won't let you see us just eating the rest of the food for the rest of the video, but we mm -hmm. want to thank you so much for watching this video. We want to ask you to like, share, comment, excuse me, and to subscribe to our video. I mean, this was a great recipe, so please make it, let us know what you think, and we will get back to you in those comments below. Until next episode of my plant-based kitchen. I got parsley teeth. See you next time. <laughs>